This video is a short introduction to the GDS RCA software or GDS Resonant Column Apparatus. The Resonant Column Test is used to measure dynamic properties of soils. The basic principle of the Resonant Column Test is to vibrate a cylindrical soil specimen in a fundamental mode of vibration in torsion and in flexure. Once the fundamental mode is established, measurements of resonant frequency and amplitude of vibration are made. The GDS resonant column system is capable of the following tests. The resonant test in torsion and in flexure, as shown, and the damping ratio test or damping test, again in both torsion and in flexure. I'm about to demonstrate a torsional resonant test. For this, we simply select our start frequency and our end frequency to run a coarse frequency sweep. I'm going to apply an amplitude of 0.2 volts and say run broad sweep. During torsional tests, four pairs of coils are connected in series so that a net torque is applied to the sample. To apply flexural vibrations, the coils are automatically switched so that only two magnets are producing a horizontal force to the specimen inducing flexural uh, excitation. We can see the test here runs through our selected frequencies from 50 to 80 Hz in steps of 1 Hz as we have defined. The test takes about another two minutes to complete, so we will return to the test when it is near completion. As we approach the end frequency of 80 Hz, we can see that the graph is currently displaying the accelerometer output against time. When a frequency of 80 Hz is achieved, the plot of frequency against peak output is plotted for the full range of the broad sweep that we just performed. The software automatically selects the peak, which here is 63 Hz, so we can set up a fine frequency sweep, for example, plus or minus 5 Hz, with an increment of, say, point 1 Hz and try to find the exact point of resonance. The test restarts and we will return to the test when it is near completion. The test is now close to completion as the frequency approaches the final frequency in the fine sweep of 68 Hz. Now we have the peak output versus frequency plot with a fine frequency resolution of 0.1 Hz which enables us to accurately determine the resonant frequency of this sample as 63.5 Hz. Now we have found the resonant frequency of the sample of 63.5 Hz, we can go on and perform a damping test. We run this test at the resonant frequency, 63.5 Hz, and again I'm going to choose an example amplitude of 0.2 volts. The viscous damping ratio, D, is measured in the resonant column test from the shape of the free vibration decay curve, shown here. The logarithmic decrement, delta, of the decay curve is calculated by taking the logarithm of the ratio of amplitudes of successive cycles. The logarithmic decrement delta is calculated by plotting the log of the peak amplitude against the cycle number. In theory this plot should be a straight line. 
the best fit slope of this line is equal to the logarithmic decrement delta shown here. The viscous damping ratio D is calculated from the logarithmic decrement. The apparatus was designed to minimize equipment damping. During free vibration decay, after the power is normally shut off at resonance, a back EMF is usually generated in the coils by the movement of the magnets. This causes large equipment damping errors. In the GDS resonant column, the software can switch the hardware to provide an open circuit during free vibration decay, which prevents the back EMF generation. The GDS RCA software is also capable of providing torsional shear slow speed cyclic testing which will not be shown in this video.